Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we go over how to link your folders on your Arrange window and your console mixer. If you've watched my videos for a little while, you know I am all about organization of my mixing sessions. I want to be able to tell what instruments I'm mixing very quickly. That's why in all of my mixing sessions, I use the same color code every single time. I also use folders to make sure that my arranger window and my mixing console look very clean and it doesn't get too cluttered. It also allows me to collapse things down so that it just cleans up my mixer as well. And because we're in Studio One, we can link the arranger window and the console together. Let's dive into the DAW and go over the settings so that we can link our arranger and console folders. So here we are inside the session. And as you can see, just looking at the arranger window, it's nice and clean. All of my drums are together, my percussions, the bass tracks, the guitars, the synthesizers, vocals, etc., etc. I know exactly where everything is. It's using the color codes that I use all the time. If I need to go in and adjust something on a guitar track or a synth track, I can easily open up the folder, see the tracks, do the edit I need to, get rid of that part, and collapse things down again. When we flip over to the console by hitting F3 on our keyboard, already I have the setting engaged. So if I was going to expand my drums, and we can see them up on top here, all I have to do is come to the bottom of my mixer and hit the folder here. This will expand the folder, filling out the console with everything that is in the drum folder. So here are all my drums, and up in the arrange window, it expanded the folder as well. This may or may not be something that you want a part of your workflow, but by default, it's not on. So let me show you where this setting is. With the console open, all you need to do is go to the wrench on the left-hand side. This opens up the option menu, and underneath in the visibility section, link expansion and visibility of folder tracks. With this off, now the folders are only active on the arranger window. So if we get the console out of the way, we can open up all of our folders here and do whatever work within the tracks that we need to, and then collapse it right back down again. Going back to the console, everything's still expanded and you don't have the option of collapsing your faders down. By hitting any one of these folder buttons, it's actually changing what's on the arranger window. Let me slide this over to the drums and show you. If I hit the folder, my drums expand up in the arranger area. And then if I hit it again, it just collapses everything up on top. But I want to keep my mixer nice and clean. So I'm going to go into the wrench and link expansion and visibility. Now you can see it's already collapsed things down, except for our vocals, which I must have opened up and left open in the clicking we were just doing. So I can easily shrink this down and keep my console nice and tidy. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.